Welcome to Hitman Boxing. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. So Deontay Wilder's found a new opponent to replace um, Andre Warzik, the guy who tested positive for PEDS. Deontay Wilder will be fighting Gerald Washington. If you take a look back, Gerald Washington was supposed to be on Deontay Wilder's undercard. He's taking this fight on very, very, very short notice. Uh, Gerald Washington's a former football player, 18 wins, one loss. I think he's got like 12 knockouts. Um, the fight that I recall seeing of Gerald Washington's was his fight with Amir Mansour, right? <sighs> Gerald Washington's not very impressive at all, to be honest with you. I think he's ranked 10 by the WBC, so he's ranked higher than, you know, the guy who tested positive for PEDS that Wilder was supposed to be fighting. But make no mistake about it, this should be pretty easy work for Deontay Wilder. I don't expect much in the way of resistance from Gerald Washington. This guy really focuses on his defense. He's not that he's not really a hard puncher. He's kind of slow. Looks very awkward to me in the ring. After all, he is a former football player. I don't I don't get what's up with all these former football players becoming boxers. You know, so basically what we got here is a basketball player versus a football player. So Deontay Wilder was obviously looking for a light touch to test out his hand and his bicep, which were both um, surgically repaired. Well, the hand was surgically repaired. I think he had a tear in his bicep or um, pec, something like that. I don't really, I don't know. I don't really care. All I know is I'm sick of watching him fight bums. So... I'm giving you this last fight. This this going to be your last bum fight because you've been yapping at the mouth for a long time. I want to see you fight somebody that matters after this. After you knock Gerald Washington out because he is getting knocked out, make no mistake about it, don't kid yourself. He's not going to he's not going to put up much of a fight unless Deontay Wilder hurts his hand again or something, which could very well happen in the fight. He could hurt his hand again. I don't put anything past this guy. He's got very brittle hands, so but hopefully he doesn't hurt himself. And hopefully his next fight is, you know, someone that someone who who could actually put up a fight, man. So give me a Joseph Parker, give me Anthony Joshua, somebody, Luis Ortiz, whoever, man. Just stop fighting these bumps. I realize he's ranked by the WBC. He's ranked number ten. And that's cool. He's he's ranked by the sanctioning body. But let's be honest. Who out there really gives Gerald Washington a chance at beating Deontay Wilder? I don't. So let me know what you guys think of the fight. Let me know if you think this guy stands a chance against Deontay Wilder. And you know what? It'd be funny if he pops dirty for steroids. <laughs> if he pops dirty for steroids, man, the heavyweight division is in trouble. Hitman Boxing, I'm out. Steady ignoring greatness A pallbearer what you need when I come undertake it This hostile take over by the chill over I got the blueprints, I really do this So move on over Stay in your lane, nigga, stay in your lane You steady running at the guns But fucking suck at the game Ain't it a shame? It really is My words invoke fear I teach you lessons that I had you breaking down in tears Call me Joe Clark with a baseball bat Chaining up the doors and spelling all these niggas from rap Cause they kill your brain cells, son How don't you see it? They steady brainwashing you And then repeating, but tis the season for chill wage I bring about change But not Obama, cause this nation I will never claim I got my sights aimed at the top spot On the chop block